as long as Tyla do not take the Rihanna route, she will be fine. Rain said that, and I'm back again with another video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and if you're new, hello and welcome. So today we're going to be speaking on Tyla, the South African princess. She just released another single. I'm guessing this is her hit single. It is called Push to Start. Now, my favorite song by Tyla will always be Water. It was her, you know, her name to fame because this was the only time and the first time I've ever heard of her. And I love the Afro beats. I love the vibes. She just give good chill vibes type of girl, you know. Um, she was giving like, you know, very sweet, very nice, very central energy um, coming in with the water single. So I did enjoy that it was light. It wasn't too heavy. It wasn't doing too much. Unlike the second single now tyla has some shoes to fill i'm not sure why everyone is comparing her to rihanna but if you're going to be compared to rihanna just know that is going to be a hard door to knock on and you know she did have her latest video paying homage to rihanna which i found that it was cute it was cute but at the same time you need to try to differentiate yourself from some past artists so people can, you know, focus on you and not on Rihanna. We want to know who Tyler is and we want to see some type of versatility, even though I feel like she is, you know, killing the um, our piano type of beats, um, South african type of beats and style and she does keep that with her new single push to start but i feel like in this video it was a little cringy because it's kind of forced and you know forced trying to be sexy things of that nature you know and i don't think it's going to work for her if she's going to try to do the rihanna route because when rihanna was doing it she started off very tastefully it wasn't just like punch in the face here we go i'm trying to be extra sexy things of that nature and it was more natural um to rihanna now when i watched this video it kind of gave me water vibes because of the chorus it's kind of the same it has the same um african voices singing over the chorus so we wanted to hear more of a staple of a single that has more with her tone in it and honestly i feel like they should have released the smash no shake ah because it was really good it was way better than this song but i understand they're trying to push her mainstream but the shake ah should have been like the single it's definitely given like dance hall underground the features the beat like the dancers would have went crazy with shake eye so i mean the song isn't bad push to start isn't bad it's pretty chill like i said she's more of a chill vibe type of girl unlike you know not trying to compare her to rihanna but she's comparing herself to rihanna or paying homage i just need to feel where she's coming from um when it comes to tyla i can feel the afro beats I can feel that in the music, but for me as a vocalist who like grasp on to Tyla, I need to feel something vocally from her that's going to, you know, pull me in and make me interested in hearing what she has to say. And I feel like that she hasn't done that just yet. So I like the song. I like the beat. It's very catchy. Do I feel like it's better than water? no but i feel like you know it's chill um you know it's autumn time so maybe they didn't want to do a singing ballad even though she has truth or dare because i do like truth or dare though i do enjoy truth or dare but we need a something i don't know there's something missing when it comes to tyla and i feel as though it's the emotional connection that each artist has um, to their audience and I don't feel anything I don't feel it 
but you know maybe she just need time because she is new in the industry she is still young so you're still trying to find her way but you know i'm just still waiting on something that clicks or something that i hear that i can be like okay like tyla is the star that we are looking for um i honestly don't feel as such um but you know now this is the video that tyla was paying homage to it was rihanna shut up and drive and what i like about how rihanna did it it was very tastefully but it was still sexy it was still you know empowerment type of you know feel you know she didn't do too much and you know she kind of owned it which i feel like if she is trying to learn or take anything from rihanna i feel like rihanna made each song her own and added her little her personality to it and honestly you can feel when rihanna sings now i understand people be like oh you know rihanna's not a you know a ballroom singer i feel like you don't have to be a ballroom singer to make your point you don't have to belch all loud to make good music and things of that nature so i feel as though if tyla takes the rihanna route it is not going to work for her at all because that is not her route now i was listening to water and i was listening to truth or dare and she needs to take the janet jackson route so everyone thinks that she is Rihanna's replacement, but she's honestly Janet Jackson's replacement. And I know people are like, where are you getting this from? But you have to understand that's just what my ears picked up on when I first heard Tyla. And her energy and her vibe is definitely giving um, Janet Jackson. The girl next door central sexy chill good vibe music and one thing about janet jackson is that she put on for her culture the same way as tyla is putting on for south africa so i feel like that she needs to continue to go the janet janet the janet jackson wrote because it's what's working for her especially when it comes to you know being central and things of that nature it's about taking your time and learning your audience so you can go you know from one two three four five and don't jump from one to five that's just my only thing but i do like her um again she does give me janet jackson vibes and i feel as though if she takes the janet jackson route it will work out for her because that was the route that she was on at first and then now she's starting to jump from the janet jackson route to the rihanna route and we already have a rihanna we don't need a replacement even though we already have a diana jackson we don't need a replacement but her vibe is giving more janet jackson and it's like more chill vibe music you know you can relate to it you can chill with it you know it's good it's great everything is fine you know type of vibe and I feel like that is her lane and if she stays in her lane and stay true to herself and continue to you know try new things but you know just staying true to herself and not trying to be something that she not because she is a beautiful girl you know she has sex appeal things of that nature but it's more of how you do it and you don't want to be forcing it because the audience is going to see and it's kind of you know cringy but like i said i'm happy that you know she's is you know getting pushed mainstream because it's a good thing and it's great for you know south africans you know they have her on her back and she's doing a good job you know uplifting you know her people and that's a beautiful thing especially to see your country and someone from your country and where you're from you know be lifted up you know it makes your country proud and i love how proud she is of where she come from and the people and things of that nature and her culture and you know showing us you know what it's like down there i wish her nothing but good things and a great career and success comment down below and i'll see you guys next time